What is up guys? Today I bring you guys a different video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys the airplane models and uh, some of the cars down here that I have collected on my shelves. Uh, there's been a, quite a few people actually who've been asking to see a video of this. Um, I know I've done a couple of these airplane unboxings and things like that. Uh, in some of my videos, some people have just seen some of this in the background. So uh, I figured I'd show it real quick, kind of quickly go over each one. And uh, yeah, we got a lot of it, I'll tell you that. I was wanting to get more airplanes, but the problem is I kind of ran out of room. So I need to get another shelf eventually. And uh, I'm not sure when that'll happen. So um, anyways, to start, we will start on the top. <clears throat> So that right there is an American Airlines 757-200 from Skymarks. It's kind of small, to be honest, um, but it's cool. This is a DC-10 from Northwest Airlines. This is a flight miniatures model. This is my newest one I've got. This is the American A350. They don't actually have one of these, but I got the model because I thought it was kind of neat. Um, so that's kind of cool. That's a Skymarks model. <clears throat> then we got a flight miniatures Northwest Airlines 747 sorry 400 these are really cool I grew up around these because uh, I grew up in Michigan and Detroit you always saw a lot of Northwest so there's a first air 737400 Skymarks there's some Deltas one of my all time favorites right here 767 what is that 300 I can't actually read it over here and that's a flight miniatures as well as this 767-400. And there's an American MD-80 over there. I don't know if I can show it. But the actual plastic or whatever on here is just destroyed. I don't know what happened to it. came like this when I got it. I don't know if you can see it. What's like the material on it? It's almost like, I don't know. It's weird. I tried to clean it up and stuff and kind of made a difference. Not really. It's a sky marks. <clears throat> and now coming down this shelf, start at the top and go down to the bottom. You got some Legos, Christmas stuff. Nothing too crazy. We have a Sprite Cranberry, by the way. I really like those, but they were discontinued in 2018, which kind of sucks. They still have them, but they're not the same. It's like a different one. There's a Delta L1011. Again, I don't really have a place for it, so I just kind of put it there right now. <clears throat> Here is my Alaska Airlines airplanes. 737-800 with the lay tail. This is one of my all time favorites. 737-800 as well, but it's the AlaskaAir.com. These are Skymarks models too. And then this one is a 737-900ER in the regular old school colors. Uh, behind these is pictures that I've actually taken that are falling down. <laughs> <clears throat> Can't see them too well. Below that we have some Americans. This is where the American Airlines collection starts. We have a 767-200. These are pretty neat. I never really got to actually fly on one of these before they were all gone. They they got rid of these a little while ago, but uh, here's the 767-300. They just got rid of these, and uh, these were really cool. I definitely miss them, but luckily Delta still has them. 737-800. Uh, Been on these tons of times. We have some Gemini Jets, 1-400 scale stuff. 737-800 and 757-200. Again, another plane that I miss that they retired. <clears throat> and below that, we have a American A330-300. Again, they got rid of these, and I'm pretty sure it's permanent. Um, I haven't kept up with it too much, but I know they were talking about uh, storing them, and they never really announced that they were retired, at least maybe they did, I don't, I don't know, but uh, I'm pretty sure they're all going to be retired. A320 Neo, A321, and A319, little baby bus. 
<clears throat> My allergies are kind of getting me. I apologize. And down below, as you hear my knees popping, we have a United 727-200, United Express Embraer 145 with the winglets. I think that's really cool. And a 737-800. And then we have a Qantas 717, Eastern 727-200. And this one I found on eBay, Continental MD-80. It's a pretty neat one. And then below that, we have some Maisto cars. And on to the middle shelf, where I have my Subaru Cup that I got for my birthday a little while ago. Dr. Pepper with the Dallas Skyline, because I thought it was cool, but it's been sitting here for probably four years. My Subaru shelf which is pretty neat. It definitely needs to grow. <clears throat> uh, this Impreza over here in the box, I actually got it from a dude on eBay. He said he got it in Japan. I don't know if that's true, but uh, it's pretty cool. It's a neat model. It's a blob eye. Uh, also that white box down there with the Japanese on it or whatever. That one I got from him as well. And below that is my Delta Airlines MD-90s. These are from Flight Miniatures, these two on the stand. This is my favorite. <clears throat> and this is actually a MD-88, Gemini 250, I believe. Yeah, the wheels go in and out and everything. Pretty neat. Again, that's probably my favorite colors of Delta on my favorite plane. Many will disagree. Here's the MD-88s. There's a Gemini 1400, as well as this one. And again, those ones on the standard flight miniatures. We got some Northwest, 747-400. 747-200. It's a Gemini Jets 1-400 scale. And there's a 727. Again, the stand, the plane's on the stand, or the flight miniatures. And there's a random Subaru picture there. <clears throat> Some graduation stuff. Nothing too interesting. Here's a bunch of random cars I collected from gas stations. <laughs> a lot of Hondas, as you can see. There's a couple of neat ones though. I, I like these Civics. I don't really like the wheels and stuff on this one, but it was just a cool find. There's a Subaru over here as well. And I can reach it. Toyota 2000 GT. And then we have some Vipers below. This is one of the first models I ever had. As you can tell, it's kind of breaking, or the wipers at least. <clears throat> and then onto this shelf. We have some cars. Celica GT4, which is like my dream car. A F-150 that my uncle gave me. And some old Suburbans. Coming down, we also have the American Eagle collection. So we have an Embraer 145, Skymarks, CRJ 200, CRJ 900. This thing is really huge. It's kind of crazy. <clears throat> and then starts the Delta collection. 757 200, 777-200, which again, they just retired, I miss it, and 747-400, there's a Gemini 1400 scale of it, <clears throat> and below 
with that. We got a 717 200. MD88. And a 767 300, which is absolutely massive. There's a Gemini uh, 767 300. And a 737 700, missing its front nose wheel. <clears throat> And below that, we have a Delta A330-300, A321. I used to never be an Airbus fan, but then I started flying on a couple of these. These are some really neat planes. They definitely like feel super safe. Very interesting. CRJ-700. Southwest 737-800. Just the regular colors. Uh, WestJet 737 700 and an Allegiant A319. And then we got some more cars down here. This Porsche is one of my favorites. This blue one in the middle. I don't know why this is open. Just noticed that. And on the last shelf, we're almost done here. This is actually kind of interesting. So um, there's kind of a lot going on here. I have an old Civic that I found at Kroger. <laughs> I just thought that was kind of neat. Um, this is an instrument panel from a Scandinavian DC-9. I'm not sure what kind. I want to say a 40, a DC-940, but I could be wrong. And uh, I actually snatched this off of eBay. I thought it was pretty cool. Yep. Here is some more neat stuff. We have an Allegiant MD-83 TWA DC-9. Those are Gemini Jets 200, 1200. Air Trans 717 down there. 737 DC-9 back there missing its nose gear. But I got that for free, so <laughs> I'll find a way to fix it or something. 737-900, and this is a 2-2300, which I actually made a video about. And below that, we have my favorite models, the 717-200, which is a Gemini Jets 1-200 scale. And a Airbus A321, Gemini Jets 1-200 scale, as well as a Flight Miniature 7-1. And those are both aircraft I was actually on. So that's kind of cool. And then below that, we have 717 from American, well, TWA. Triple seven from Delta, 777-200. Gemini Jets, one four hundred scale. This is a Gemini 200, 1-200 scale, CRJ-200. And an old Delta 767-300. And we're almost done. This is a Delta 757-300. Big old pencil plane. Super long. Super neat. And a Delta 737-800. And the wavy gravy colors, as they're called. Or so I, I call them anyways. It's a British A350-1000. It's actually pretty new as well. And last but not least, we have a KLM 787-9. But yeah, that's pretty much everything. Uh, there's like a lot, I know. Um, if you guys have any questions about any of the planes or any of the cars you see, let me know. I would love to expand, but I need to get another shelf before I do that. So um, I'm hoping to get my uh, a new place here soon. So if that's the case, it'd be nice. I would like to grab some more shelves and complete the collection because there's a lot more I want to get. Although at the moment, it's kind of hard because they're not exactly the cheapest models. So uh, I can't really justify spending a bunch of money on models at the moment. However, in the future, I would love to add on to the collection. So, but yep, that's that. Hope you guys enjoy. 
There's some Hot Wheels over there as well. <laughs> I can go in about the go in detail about those eventually if you guys would be interested. I have a whole bunch of Hot Wheels. But uh, yep, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry this was so long. But again, if you have any questions or comments or anything, do let me know. And we will see you guys next time.